Hey guys and gals and Caleb. We just put that one in a boat. Pretty good looking fish. This is kind of a typical summer fish here on Clear Lake. So we're going to give you our fishing report today, which is Thursday, 718. I'm actually I'm actually shooting this down in the red butt arm and amazingly I'm not being blown sideways so there's one of your fishing reports the last two days today and yesterday it's been extremely calm here which is way different than what's been going on so let's get right to the conditions water temperature uh, the areas that I've been in today and I've only been out since about 9 o'clock this morning. It's currently 1. Um, 76 to 78 degrees. Calm conditions. Water color is changing. We're slowly starting to see the algae start to pop up. I mean, it's not really packing in anywhere heavy, but like out here behind me, you can't see it, but there's a green film out here that's getting started. Um, I think down behind the island here, Rattlesnake has probably got a little bit, and I know down the red butt arm there's some there. Weeds haven't really changed a lot. There's not a whole lot going on there. Water level is staying relatively the same. If you look around, I'm looking at the bank right now, and I can see about two foot of drop. There's just a, a white line that's running across the rocks. I'm sitting here along Highway 20 right now, the red butt arm, just because I finally can. So. Water temperature we got, water clarity, yeah, today I've seen a couple places I pulled into that I could see about three feet. Overall we're going to call it two feet. Uh, you may find a little bit more, a little bit less depending on where you are. As far as what's going on with uh, fishing pressure, not much, that'll change tomorrow. This afternoon and tomorrow BBT is going to be here Saturday so they usually put up a pretty good sized field so the weekend is going to be busy and it's usually starts to get a little bit busy on Friday the day before which is tomorrow other than that not a whole lot else going on it's been a real light week not a whole lot of people here weather's been a little bit of a challenge wind wise but other than that the bite's been pretty good you know we're still hanging in there around 20 to 30 fish a day, depending on how many people we have fishing and depending on where the wind lets us fish. I thought I'd challenge myself a little bit just for your guys' benefit today. I got out here at 9 o'clock and I brought four rods pre rigged. I brought a Ned rig, I brought a jig, I brought a drop shot, and a square bill. Started off with a square bill, took me 29 minutes to catch a limit of fish on the square bill. Uh, I went to the Ned Rig next. It took me 40 minutes to catch a limit on that. that. Went to the Drop Shot next. Kind of cheated on that one. That one took about 20 minutes to get a limit of fish. Um, I just I was looking at my just the time that I was switching over from the Ned Rig. I looked down and saw a big old school of bait down there in about 24 feet of water. And the first four drops I had fish. So. Then it took me about 10, 15 minutes to catch the fifth one. Um, honestly, I'm cheating a little bit on the jig. It took me almost an hour, and I still haven't gotten my fifth bite on it. I've gotten four, uh, but I just I went over fish, and I said I just can't pass these fish up and leave them here. So <laughs> right now I picked up a combination of a drop shot and a Ned rig, and I've I've picked up four more. So. I'm somewhere in the range of about 23 fish for 9 o'clock to 1 o'clock, which is 4 hours. A lot of fishing, not a whole lot of running around. Nothing big. That fish was probably my best at just probably a shade over 3 pounds. Uh, this week our big fish was a 13 pound um, channel cap that was in beautiful condition. Um, one of my clients caught it. Other than that, we didn't really get into any big fish this week. It's kind of been a deal of, we caught fish, but we've had to work at it. 
mostly because the wind has kind of messed me up. Um, the first two days I guided this week, below the narrows was just awful. It was white capping the whole time, so that makes it really tough. Thank goodness for that trolling motor because one of the days we spent most of the day, both guys were in the back of the boat and I was letting the trolling motor hold us, you know, where we needed to be to fish. So, so we got your water conditions, fishing report. Yeah, you know what? It's been, for me, it's been mostly plastics, a uh, little bit of shaky head, a little bit of Ned rig, a lot of drop shot. I know other guys are catching some uh, Carolina rig fish. I have picked up the jig occasionally. I've made no bones about telling you folks that I am not a world-class jig fisherman. I never will be because I just don't want to spend the time to do it. Uh, but when they start whacking on it, I'll fish it. And we did catch some jig fish. Oh, earlier in the week, um, I was kind of forced into some shallower water. So we threw a chatterbait around a little bit. We did lose one really good fish that we saw. Um, around six pounds, we'll call it. We saw it and, um, and it had a couple of other pretty decent fish on it. So that chatterbait worked, but it was in really heavy weeds, you know, where they're real thick and matted up and you could throw around the corners. The uh, top water bite has just not been there for me. I've tried. You know, I could probably, almost every morning, I can pick up four or five fish on it. But that's compared to what I consider to be a normal summer day where you can pick up 10 to 20 fish in a morning. And that morning should extend anywhere from 6 o'clock till, you know, 9, 30, 10 o'clock. So for me, it just hasn't been happening. It doesn't mean that that bite's not out there. Um, I kind of, you know, when I'm under the gun and on a time clock with people, I can't spend as much time really going after some of these bites as I would probably if I was out by myself. So there's your Clear Lake fishing report. I uh, ran into a couple people this week who took the time to stop and say hi. Really appreciate that. Thanks a bunch. G-Dog and I are about to sign out. We'll give a big Caleb. We love you. We'll hope to see you in the near future. And uh, you guys, guys and gals have a safe weekend.